Are you a pistachio lover? Then you will love this St. Patty pistachio nut bread. This pistachio bread is good any time of the year, but we're making it for St. Patty's Day. If you are new here, welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. If you would, take a minute, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification so that you get all of our delicious recipes as they post. If you are a return turning subscriber. Thank you so much for your support and give us a thumbs up. Now, let's mix this up. To start this pistachio quick bread, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Grab yourself two bread loaf pans. These are four by nine. I have sprayed these in a non-stick butter spray. You can grease it with butter, or you can even grease it with any type, really, of a neutral oil, such as canola. I am going to also put in mine to coat it uh, a mixture of two tablespoons of sugar and one of cinnamon. So you'll just sprinkle this over your pan, and then we're going to shake it around. That'll put a really good coating on that bread. Well, kind of a coat, and it's not going to be thick, okay? <laughs> but good. And you'll just shake this around on your side so that it gets, it sticks to the sides. So they're going to look like this. We're going to set this over to the side and get our mixing bowl. Got this mixing bowl. We're going to add to it one cake mix. We are using a yellow cake. And guys, you're just going to dump all of this in. There is no rhyme or reason as to how you put this in. It just all goes in. We're also adding two packages of the pistachio instant pudding. Here comes that green. St. Patty's Day green. We will now add a quarter cup of um, canola. You could use sunflower oil if you would like, uh, another neutral oil there. A quarter cup of water. Look at that grain come out with that liquid. Now we will add four eggs. These have been setting out at room temperature. And one cup of sour cream. This will be a really thick batter. I'm going to tell you right now, um, don't worry when you start stirring yours up in your kitchen. It does come together. So I'm just going to give this a quick stir before I get my mixer going. And I want a little bit of extra green in mine, so we're going to bring that in as well. I want some green, green St. Patty's Day bread. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of green food coloring to this one. Be careful not to get it on your hands because it will stain. Almost looks blue, doesn't it? That's some dark green. We're going to get rid of this spatula. We're going to get the mixer and we're going to give this a mix. That is some thick batter, but it will come out delicious, guys. I'm going to get rid of this mixer and come back with our loaf pan. Now, that is some thick St. Patty's Day pistachio batter. Oh, my gracious. Look at how green it is. This is going to be gorgeous. Guys, you're just going to divide this up between your two loaf pans. And then we will spread it out so that it's nice and as level as we can get it. You'll just take your spatula and then just spread this so that you get as even as you can for your bread so that they, the tops look pretty when you take them out of the oven. I will be cooking mine, both of them, on this cookie sheet. This not only protects my oven if they happen, and I'm not expecting them to, but if they happen to boil over, but it also makes it real easy for you to get it in and out of that oven. 
as with all loaves that I do. I have one that's slightly bigger than the other one. But guys, you're not going to serve them both at the same time. So no one's going to know that but you. So this is going in the oven and these will bake for approximately 45 minutes. While we are waiting for our St. Patty's Day pistachio nut bread to bake, we're going to whip up a topping for it. This is real easy. You're ha you'll need two cups of confectionery sugar. To that, we're going to add approximately two tablespoons of milk. We're going to add this sparingly because we can always put it in. Guys, we can't take it out. We would have to add more sugar if we got it too thin. We will add about an eighth of a teaspoon of almond extract, and we will add some vanilla flavoring. I'm going to add approximately a teaspoon of my vanilla. These two flavorings together, guys, will make this topping so tasty. And then we'll just give it a stir. Keep stirring, it will come together. It will come together, and it will be some sweet goodness on top of that pistachio nut bread. Make sure you get all of your sugar uh, mixed in. I've seen a little bit on the bottom of my mixing um, cup. This is about the consistency that I'm going for. We'll set this over to the side. <sighs> Look at these St. Patty pistachio nut bread. They have a beautiful rustic look to them. These are going to be delicious. We're going to let these cool a minute and we're going to come back and put that delicious glaze on them. Our St. Patty's pistachio nut bread has cooled. I have put one here on my loaf plate. The other one I have sitting right here. We're going to let that cool. We will wrap it and put it in the freezer. It will be good for up to three months. Not that it's going to last in there three months but it will be just like fresh baked whenever we pull it out. We're going to frost this one. I have given this a really good stir and it smells so good. That almond gives it just a perfect flavor. And then of course we had the vanilla in there as well. So I'm just gonna pour this over. I have also chopped up some roasted and salted pistachios. We are going to add these to the top too. This salt will be a perfect combination with all the sweet that we have going on in this bread. And it's also going to bring a little bit of crunch. So we'll add some texture in it. Now comes my favorite part, which is the taste test. Nothing leaves this kitchen without first going through the cup. So I went ahead and sliced this just so that we could see just how beautiful these pieces are. That is one beautiful pistachio bread. It smells so good. I can't wait. Of course I want the what has the glaze on it. That is so good. The cake is so moist. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a very moist, I said cake, but it's a bread. Very moist, the glaze, sweet. You can taste the almond, you can taste the vanilla. The crunchy saltiness of the pistachios is just enough to break through some of that sweetness. This one is a can't miss and a must have. I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe. And if you have, you give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit notifications so that you get all of our recipes as they post. And until next time, God bless and take care.